Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I see somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you praise the Lord? Hallelujah. 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 Praise in the Lord. Oh, we. Away, praise in the Lord. Away, praise in the Lord. In my heart and soul, praise in the Lord with all my heart. Oh, we. Hallelujah, my God is good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, my God is good. It's good to me. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, you are so good. Hallelujah, you are so good. So good to me. Welcome to the third Sunday of this year. It's like we play or like a game. We want to thank God for a day like this. Our God is God and he is not a man. Whether you are watching or you're going to be coming from east, from west, from north and south, we welcome and may God bless us. In the name of Jesus, may the power of God abide in our lives. In the name of Jesus, amen. I have no other God but you. I have no, I have no other God but you. You have done what no man can do. You will do, you will do what no man can do. I have no other God but you. I have no, I have no other God but you. You have done what no man can do. You will do, you will do what no man can't do. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Whether you are driving, just listen. You don't need to open no Bible. Just listen. Whether in your bathroom, whether you're in your kitchen, whether you are to work, you're taking a break in your break room, just listen. It's a beautiful day with the Lord. And may that beautifulness of God never fail us or forsake us. In the name of Jesus. And in all our ways, we will continually acknowledge him, whichever way, however, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus, you are the sweetest name we know. You are always just the same. Praise your holy name. And that is the reason why we love you so much. Jesus, you are the sweetest name we know. Everlasting God, Jesus, you are the sweetest name I know. Unfailing God, Jesus, you are the beautiful name I know. Unfailing God, Jesus, you are the mighty name I know. I say, my life, Lord, I will live on my life, Lord, my life, Lord. I will live on my life, Lord, if I live my life, Lord. That will take care of me. He will never, never let me down. I will live all my life long. 
ever living soul, ever living soul, praise the Lord. Every living soul, every living soul, praise my God. Every living soul, every living soul, praise my God. Every living soul, every living soul, praise my God. The most irene, the most irene. The most tiring night in my life today. The most tiring night. The most tiring night. The most tiring night in my life today. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, my God? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, my God? What shall we render? What shall we render? What shall we render to you, Lord? We will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall we render to you, my God? Lift him up higher. Come on, lift him up higher, my God is good. I will lift him up higher. Everywhere I go, I will lift him up higher. Sisters, lift him up higher. Brothers, lift him up higher. My God is good. I will lift him up higher. Every day of my life, I will lift him up higher. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you, Daddy. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. You are all I have, Jesus. You are all I have, Daddy. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. Take glory, Father, glory, take glory, Son. Take glory, take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Take glory, take glory, Father, take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Take glory, take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost, now and forevermore. Oh, glory, glory, glory to my God. Oh, glory, oh, glory, glory, glory to my God. Hallelujah, O Sana, O Sana, O Sana. Blessed be the name of my God, most high, O Sana, O Sana, O Sana. Blessed be the name of my God. Oh, glory, oh, glory, glory, glory to my God. Oh, glory, oh, glory, glory, glory to my God. Hallelujah, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of the Lord Mosai, Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed be the name of my, my God. Oh, what shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, Lord? I will praise your name, I shout hallelujah. 
What shall I render to you, my God? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, Lord? I will praise your name, I shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, my God? I say lift him up, I Come and lift him up, I my God is good. I will lift him up. Every day of my life, I will lift him up. Come and lift him up. Sisters, lift him up. My God is good. I will lift him up. Every day of my life, I will lift him up. Good morning, everybody. Welcome from the nation of Asia, Africa, Australia, Authentic Europe, North and South of America. May God bless us as we continue. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for this morning. It's another day that you, Lord, have made. You have made it. We shall rejoice and be glad in you. Because we have no other God. Oh, Lord, take over this garden in the name of Jesus. Our names are known unto you, Father. Do not let this world have authority over our lives in the name of Jesus. Every obstacle to our salvation, every obstacle to our serving you, my Lord, my God, Jehovah Jireh, my, you own our lives. You take over and shoot them feet in the name of Jesus. You have promised you will never fail. I will honor you. I will honor you. My God has promised you will never fail. Your faithfulness is forevermore. God's faithfulness is forevermore. What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will praise your name, I shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, my God? What shall I render? What shall I render? What shall I render to you, O Lord? I will praise your name and shout hallelujah. What shall I render to you, my God? Father, take over this gathering. Our lives are in your able hands. We do not know where to go except to come to you. Every raging war, no, no, no war. Oh, Lord, Father, you take over. You are the Lord. That is your name. And you will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with any power. You are the Lord. I say that is your, your name. Every power that is beyond us. Oh Lord, every situation that are beyond us. You have a final say, Father. Take over and let only your will prevail in our lives, in our home, and in all we do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus' unfailing name we have prayed. Amen. We're going into the world. And may that world be a lamp unto our darkness. In the name of Jesus. Come with me to sing a song. My faith looks up today. My 
faith looks up to thee, thou lamp of Calvary, as the Savior divine. Now hear me while I pray, take all my gifts away. Oh, let me from this day be holy, die. May thy rage gaze in past strength. To my failing heart, my zeal is proud, as thou hast died for me. Oh, may my love to thee, pure, warm, and changeless be a living fire amen when it's like trans a dream when the school soul in stream shall over me blessed your daddy lord and distrust remove oh let me see vago vera amen amen open your bible it's not over as soon as long as we live we will be on the side of god because every powerless power, you can do anything you want with another man. You can take revenge. You can do whatever. But <laughs> we got on our side in vain. Nobody can destroy the work of God. Look at our world. Vengeance. 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 Are we ready for God to be on our side? Who is on the low side? I am on the low side. I am on the low side. The Lord is on my side. As long as I live for the rest of my days, I am on the low side. I should come in. If you can text, maybe something is wrong with the video setup. I don't know. Just read along with me. In faith, do everything this morning because it's just blinking. I can't even type amen, which is fine. Listen, you can hear me. Turn to your Bible. It doesn't matter what the situation. We are on the Lord's side, and the Lord is what? It's on our side. Amen, oh. Amen. 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 Hello? 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 Amen. Who is on the low side? I am on the low side. I am on the low side. The Lord is on my side. As long as I live for the rest of my days, I am on the low side. Who is on the low side? I am on the low side. I am on the lost side. The Lord is on my side. For the rest of my days, as long as I live, I am on the lost side. I say, who is on the lost side? I am on the lost side. I am on the lost side. The Lord is on my side. As long as I live for the rest of my days, I am on the Lord's side. Be on the Lord's side. It doesn't matter your situation this morning. Let's be on the Lord's side and it will be on our side. Every situation that we are going through, that is passing through us, He knows about us. 
It could be a test of faith. Are you going to leave the side of God? Regardless, it's still going to be on your side. Amen. Now, come with me to the book of Matthew 18.4. Matthew 18.4. Quick, 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 quick. We need to pray more because of our situation. We need to tender. He knows about it, but he wants us to pray more. And the same time, I start from verse 1. The disciple came unto Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Is it about who is the greatest? Look at this way. Among the apostles, who came last? He was Apostle Paul. He came last, and he became the greatest. You never know how God is going to judge you and me. The bottom line, we need to do good. And Jesus called a little child, listen to that, and set him in the midst of them. And he said, Verily I say unto you, and say ye be comforted, converted, and become as a little child in our ways. Why do we need to be converted as a little child? <laughs> they don't lie. It's what we teach them that will proceed from their mouth. Little children, and they speak it sometimes as they see it, as they perceive it themselves. Little children, they don't lie. And he said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter. Oh my God, we will enter into the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. May he help us. Amen. And four, that's where we're going. Whosoever therefore shall humble. Humble. What does that mean? When you humble yourself, you are full of respect. You humble yourself, you don't lie. You humble yourself, you don't instigate. You humble yourself, you tell the truth. Even at the face of death. When you humble yourself, there is nothing you don't do. God is on our side in the name of Jesus. Humble yourself. Humble yourself. How do we learn to humble ourselves? Just do what is right. Be faithful. Don't lie against people. If you have a power, use it wisely so that God will count it as righteousness for you. Humility, because you are in place of authority when you have power. Amen. God wants you that power. Don't will it on people and use it to oppress those who are less fortunate. They're looking for you to help them, not to oppress them, not to, to even tread upon them. Use your power wisely. Humble yourself. And in so doing, look at the story of uh, Absalom. No, excuse me, Solomon. Solomon, when he ascended the throne of his father, David, what did he ask from God? He could ask for money. Oh, he could have the power. I'm the king now. I want to be in charge. He did not. He said, Father, if you will grant me knowledge, wisdom, to rule this people, to rule your people. And the Lord said, oh, along with that, I will add treasures. Hey, there was never in the lifetime of Solomon, because of the humble of his heart. Knowledge, wisdom, he asked for. He didn't ask for the power, to wield the power, to be able to destroy nations of the world, to be able to destroy the less fortunate, the common people in this kingdom, that they have no authority. He didn't try to step on them. They go, give me that strength to be the Goliath. Give me the strength, oh Lord, to destroy them. Give me the strength to kill, to steal, and destroy them. Whoever would never abide by my rules. He did not do these things. He was so humble. He said, Daddy, Father in heaven, grant me that knowledge and wisdom to design good and bad, to rule this kingdom with all, all of you, Father. 
are we going to ask God to humble our soul? It doesn't matter your degree. People call me crazy. I'm following what God told me to do. And I'm not doing it to please men. I'm not doing it. Some will just lie. They know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I need prayers. They're testing the power of God in you. They will come. They will tell you, oh, I have a miscarriage. And they didn't have even pregnant. You hear me? They will say, oh, yeah, they have one disease before. They're testing the power of God. What should you do to such people? <laughs> you need to pray for them, for God to deliver their soul from hell. Because the, 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 the worst thing ever is to see a person who the Lord has given the spirit of discernment. And you want to, to let them tumble. You come, you want to prove to them that you don't know nothing. You don't see nothing. And then you come, you lie, and you, you lie. You say, oh, things that are not happening in your home. You said it is happening. Who are you discrediting? You're discrediting yourself. You're discrediting your home. You're discrediting your life. Because the worst thing ever is for you to want to derail a man of God or a woman of God. Don't you know what the Bible says? It says your sin will catch you up, it will catch up with you at the door. Who is going to deliver you? Be careful what you wish for. Some you cannot tread on them, some you cannot do them evil. If truly the Lord has sent them, you cannot do otherwise. You better be careful what you wish for. If you say you have one disease, you have leukemia and you don't. You want to test the spirit of God in a man of God, in a woman of God. And you're kneeling down and you're saying, pray for me. And, and that thing came back again. As you desire, may it be unto you. Don't do that. Don't do that. Because when the Lord will catch up with you, hey, who is going to deliver you? Humble yourself. And if you want to be like the man of God, you want to be like the woman of God ordained for that purpose, for the work of God. He said, ask. And anything you ask in his name, he will do it if it is the will of God for you. Humble yourself from today. Amen. Let's go in the book of Luke 18. And let's see people who did not humble themselves. What happened to him? But at least he repented and he did one good deed. <laughs> Look. Luke chapter 18. And even though we're going to 4 and 5, let's start from 1 quickly. And he spake a parable unto them to this end, that men ought always to pray and not faith. What did I say? I just said, if you need humility in your life, Ask, and God shall give it to you. Pray. You have to pray for it. And have faith that the Lord will pardon your sins. The Lord will take away everything that is not of his in your life. Amen. And saying, there was in a city a judge, which fear not God, a judge which fear not God, neither regarded man. A judge, he didn't fear God. And he didn't regard no man. Because you know what I studied? Humility. He didn't have it. He lied it. He did not humble himself. No. The men, men that he could see, he did not regard nobody. He has no regard. And for him to fear God that he couldn't see, he lacked everything. And it was the Lord dealt with him. Because he refused to humble himself, hmm, probably he was, uh, he was asked to leave. You can't be a good judge because you don't fear men. You do whatever you wanted. He was so wicked. Hmm. But there's always a payback. Can you stand? My Rahiba on the day of your payback. Can you stand? Who is going to help you? Is that God that you did not fear? A man that you know you have no regard for anybody. It's you 
Oh, no way. <laughs> and there was a widow in that city. And she came unto that wicked judge. Hmm. She came to the wicked judge. Avail me of my adversary. Help me. Set me free from the hand of those who are tormenting me for what I did not do. Those who refuse to humble themselves, torturing a widow. How many people the Lord say we should not touch or we should not even try to touch them? He says, the fatherless, the orphans of the world, you cannot deal with them treacherously. Go having for them. You cannot deal with a widow. And a stranger, you cannot touch them. If you did, your sin will catch up with you at the door. Meaning, as you do it, the Lord will pay you back. Let us humble ourselves. If you are in a position of authority, don't, don't tread upon people. Don't step on them. You don't know if God is with them. Who is, how are you going to escape? Because God can fight for people who he loved. Amen. You remember in the Bible the story of the the, 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 the story of the king Pharaoh and the Israelites. The Lord fought for them. Oh my goodness. The gate of hell was not able to prosper. Amen. And verse 4. And he will not for a while. Because it's normal routine for him. <laughs> he doesn't regard no man. He doesn't fear no God. The God who made the heaven and earth. He did not fear no God. He has no respect for nothing. And remember. Philippians 4. 6. Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. Hey. Be careful who you touching. That they did not do you no wrong. You, 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 you just don't like them. That's okay. You don't have to like them. But don't step on them. Don't ill treat them. Don't use, don't, don't even use anything to come against them. Because it's a payback time coming up. Ah, who is going to deliver you? When your pay time back, payback time will come to you. And he will not for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, though I fear not God. Hey! <laughs> it doesn't matter what we do. We always know who we are. Okay? If nobody told you, you know what is right from wrong. And he will not fear God for a while. But afterward, he said within himself, though I fear not God and, re and not regard man. He didn't regard no man. He didn't fear no God. The God who made heaven and earth, he said, I don't care. <laughs> Why would not fear God? That is no humility in him. He did not respect God. He did not humble himself at all. He fell in position of authority and he misused his post, his power. How many people traded upon you for nothing? How many people are asking you who is going to deliver from their spank? <laughs> How many people are telling you without them there is no life in you? Who are you to determine life? Hmm. Who are you to determine who lives and who will die? May God rescue us in the name of Jesus. And may we be able to humble ourselves and regard ourselves as human beings. Amen. And five. Yeah, because this widow troubled him. He said, I will avenge her. This her continual coming wear me off. Just to get rid of, he wasn't doing it out of her, his heart. He said, this woman, this trouble is too much. You know, I don't fear nobody. You know, that God, I don't care if there is God or no God. I do my own thing. Then finally he said, well, the reason, ah, what is your clause to help others? The only reason is because the woman was persistent and troubling him. And he doesn't want him to want her to come back and be troubling him. So he did the work. We don't know how he did it. <laughs> that is not humility. Because people are persistent, 
So if they should stop coming to you, you want, ah, oh, let me just do something and let them go get away from my sight. Ha, ah, let us mend our ways. God is waiting. Amen. And Jeremiah 9, 3. Hmm. Amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and oh no, but where am I? Belongs to my God forever and never. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory. Wisdom, thanksgiving, and oh no. Power of mine belongs to my God forever and ever. Amen. Jeremiah 9, 3. Let's start from verse 1. Oh, that my head were waters and my eyes a fountain of tears. That I might weep day and night for the slain, hallelujah, of the daughter of my people. Hold oh, those are the people people are torturing. If you have power, be humble with your power. The Lord put you there, the Lord gave it to you. He can take it back. Hold oh, that hard in the wilderness, looking place for a we fear for we fearing men that I might live my people and go from them and go from them for they be all adulterous treacherous men let us use our power wisely our authority wisely have you been given the authority on trans power to see vision power to prophesy power to heal power to translate power to speak in tongues these are the power that the Lord has given some some in position of authority. Maybe a prophet or prophetess. You have spirit of discernment. Humble yourself with the gifts of the Holy Ghost. It says he will give you baptism of the of the Holy Ghost. That is baptism of fire. And after that, the power, authority will come upon you. Amen. The power to heal, to touch, anointing. Hey, how are you using that power in you today? Do you humble yourself? Amen. And then, let's go. And verse, verse 3. And they burn their tongues like their bow. You know the bow they used to shoot? They bend their tongue like a bow for lies. If you're in power, say nothing but the truth. You know we've been talking about humility. For you to be humble, you don't tell lies. Amen. And, but they are not valiant for the truth. They're valiant to tell lies. But for the word of truth, no, 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 no. For they proceed from evil to evil. Hey, how can you go from evil to evil? We need to recognize God this morning. Bottom line, humility to be translated. Humility to plan your... <laughs> hey, hell is real. Hey, you don't want to know. It is real. Ask people who have gone, you know, they, 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 they went through it. They went through afterlife and they came back. It is real. Bottom line this morning, seek for God before that day of darkness. Humble yourself. Stop oppressing the less fortunate. Stop oppressing people who are not in power, who do not have a voice. Hey! Don't lie on them. 
You bring your arrow to tell lies. You win your power to do evil. Hmm. And when it comes to you bearable, you're ready with your power to destroy. When it comes to the truth saying, it's lies and lies and lies. God is watching. I didn't mention nobody's name. He's talking to me. If I like to lie, may the Lord take it away from me this morning. A new life in Christ. Ask, it shall be given to you. And lastly, Sephaniah 319. I owe the debt. I could not pay. I owe the debt. I could not pay. And I needed someone to touch my sins away. Now I can sing the melody song. Amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the debt, he did not owe. I owe the debt, I owe the debt, I could not pay. I owe the debt, I could not pay, and I needed someone to part my sins away. Now I can sing a melody song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the day, he did not owe. I owed the day. I owed the day. I could not pay. I owed the day. I could not pay. I needed someone to put my sins away. Now I can sing a melody song, amazing grace. Lord Jesus paid the day. I could not be the dead. I could not be, and he did not owe. How are you going to pay your debt this morning? You needed the Holy Spirit. You needed that blood on Calvary, that water of redemption, that blood of salvation, that blood that will never lose its strength, that blood that will deliver you yourself. From those who are going to be stronger than you. <laughs> if you have a power, trust me, there will be somebody who is stronger than you. If you have this spirit and you thought, uh -uh, on top of it all, you are the one. There will be mightier men of valor above you. And if there is none among us who owns it, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, he owns every power. It's above all human race. Amen. Sephaniah 3. And we're going to 19. Let's start from life 15. And now, we need to hurry up to go into prayers. And now, let me start from 17. I smote you be blessed with the mildred and with hell in the labor of your hands. You see, there will be always a big bad time. Hmm. Be careful. <sighs> Consider now it in from the day and upward, from the fourth and the twelfth day and ninth month, even from the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid. Consider it. Now what are we considering? Is the seed yet in the barn and ye as ye the vine and the tree? And the pomegranate, pomegranate and olive tree had not brought. Oh, sorry, I'm reading the wrong one. I want to. We want Sephaniah. Sephaniah, not Zechariah. I'm sorry. Sephaniah, chapter 3. I read quickly from. Um, let's start from verse. 18. I will gather them that are sorrowful for the solemn assembly. Look at God. He has the back of people that are sorrowful that you have treaded upon with your power. <laughs> that you can humble yourself. Do not give it to you. You can take it back. Hey! That you are afflicted and I will save her that hated and gather her from... Let me go back. 
solemn assembly who are of thee, whom they reproach of it was a burden. You reproach men? Hmm. And 19, that's where we're going. Behold, at that time, I will undo. The Lord will undo your power. The Lord will undo your power. Those you treading on, on them, the Lord will undo your power. All that afflicted thee, the Lord will undo their power. Ah, in the name of Jesus. And I will save her that hated, hated thee and gather her that was driven. But I will get them praise. The Lord will get you praise. Have you been oppressed? Everywhere you turn to, people just, they hated you, they lie upon you, they oppress you. And I will get them praise. The Lord will get you praise and fame from today. The Lord will get me and my household. He will get us praise and fame in every land where they have put us to shame. Prayer time, sisters. Begin to thank God. Brothers, everyone, begin to thank God. <laughs> Who is on the Lord's side? I am on the Lord's side. I am on the Lord's side. The Lord is on my side. As long as I live for the rest of my days, I am on the Lord's side. Begin to pray. Tell Papa God, thank you. And as you thank God, ask for the spirit of humility. That God should humble you in all your ways. He should direct your path. Proverbs 3 says, acknowledge him right now. Begin to thank him. Tell him you want that spirit of humility to be your foundation, for him to be your judge, for him to help you in the hand of men that are mightier than you do. In the name of Jesus, of, of every leader that want to oppress you at work, wherever you turn to, may the Lord fight for you. Begin to pray. But you need to remain humble too. In the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, Oh, Lord, humble yourself. Humble me, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me, humble me. And my household, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And let's read the book of Luke 18. The wicked judge. You know, those who are supposed to help you because you are persistent, not that they are willing. That is the main thing. Because they then say they don't know what it is to help. All they want is to wield their power. May the Lord be your helper. Begin to ask God to be your helper in a terrible situation that they, they, they told you, they finished you. You can't get out. May the Lord be your helper. This morning, pray. Not referring to anybody. This is what the Lord gave me. And I'm doing it. If, if my words are bitter in your ears, you pardon me. Examine yourself as I am examining myself. I'm not a perfect woman being either. We all have our ways. But God is saying, humble yourself from today. May the Lord help me. Is there any way I've wronged anyone that I'm willing my power over them? That I'm in position of authority to be their helper, but I failed to help them. May the Lord help me to be able to continually do what is right. Not by force, willingly, freely. And may God be my helper and my household as I do it willingly and freely in the name of Jesus. That I should never away my power unnecessarily on somebody who has no power and looking for help. Do something new in my life. Begin to pray. Something awesome in my life. Something miracle in my life. My God, do something beautiful in my life. Something powerful in my life. Something awesome in my life. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you, Lord. I cannot do without you, my God. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord. 
Father, in the name of Jesus. As we continue to pray right now, O oh Lord, Jeremiah 93, every spirit lying against us, as a spirit of a lying tongue, and they say they finished us, wherever the enemy, wherever they left me, and my household, pray your prayers. Wherever they led me and my household, and they thought they finished me, and they thought they finished my household, O oh Lord, lift us up again. From the hands of powers and principalities, those who are mightier, those who are in charge, and they thought they can do whatever, that who is going to ask them, Father, just help them to be humble. In the name of Jesus, help, help me and my household to be humble. I pray for the seven nations of the world. Minister to all our leaders. Help them to humble themselves in the name of Jesus and more grace, more energy, more power added to them and let them do what is right in the name of Jesus. Heal the land, Father, as many are still in the hand of coronavirus and struggling to live. My Lord, my God, heal us. Let us humble us and be at, all of us to be attentive and be delivered from this virus in the name of Jesus. Let us be able to be obedient. It says, do what they ask you to do first before you complain. If things don't work for you or this medicine, do what works to prevent and shield you from the attack of coronavirus. They say face masks, wear it. They say gloves, put it in your hands. They say wash your hands, please do that. Take your medicine. Do what you know can work best for you if you have tons of allergies. And all this refined medicine that is not working for you. May the Lord help you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, lastly, let's go in the book of Zephaniah 3, 9, 10. And from today, the Lord will give us praise when we humble ourselves. Where we lack, He will humble us, He will lift us up in the name of Jesus. We will gain fame in everywhere we step, everywhere we go. And God will never, any situation that have put us to shame in the past, they will never be able to do it no more in the name of Jesus. <laughs> the Lord will be our guide. The Lord will be our guide. The Lord will surprise us. The Lord will never fail us. The Lord, God of Israel, <laughs> Jehovah. As we humble ourselves, it will take over our lives. It will never leave us or forsake us. And so shall it be. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jesus' awesome name we have prayed. Amen. Somebody, wherever you are, praise the Lord. Because it's a new life and a new beginning with our God. Learning to humble ourselves from today. In the name of Jesus. And for next Sunday, my brothers and sisters, join me. It doesn't matter. Distance is never a barrier with virtual care, with virtual uh, uh, coming together to hear the word of God. It's never a barrier. People have asked me in the past, do you think this should replace church? I did not say so, but it's workable because God is everywhere. No matter where you turn to, God is there with you. God is there to solve our issues. It's except the one you didn't make known to him. And let me tell you something. It's not that God has dementia either. He knows about you. When he says, remind me, he just wants you to prove that you know he can do it. Make God your foundation. Let God help you where you think you are weak. Join me every Sunday from East Coast in America, 11 a.m., from Central, join me, 10 a.m. If you're coming from the mountain area, join me at night, California people, Pacific. Join me at 8 o'clock, 11 minus 3, 8 a.m. If you're coming from West Africa, at 6, join me at 5 p.m. If you're coming from East Africa, add 7. Join me at 6 p.m. your time. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. 
or whichever work for you, if I'm not calculating right, just come. You're coming from the nation of Europe. Add, I think, six. Join me at five. Italy, maybe seven. Join me at 6 p.m. May the Lord be our guide. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Now, as we leave, join me for watch party. Invite your friends for the watch party. Come with your family. You save a soul. We want your people to learn to humble themselves. If you are in power, mellow. The Lord gives. May he never take our joy from us in the name of Jesus. Don't use it to destroy people. Don't use it to step on people. Don't use it to destroy. He will catch up with you. The time, I have no clue. But when God says he will do it, he will do it. He will do it because he honors his word above his name. Happy Sunday. Join me on YouTube too if you have a minute. God bless you. Bye now.